As we approach the hotter and drier season, most of us are asking just how much should we be watering our lawns and what's it going to cost? Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph has details of a BYU study that has some answers that might surprise you. As we water throughout the summer, watering can add up with restrictions starting around the state. But the amount you'll need to water might be less than you think. A new study at BYU spearheaded by Dr. Rob Sobey, a civil engineer, has the answers. We cover all kinds of uh, civil infrastructure to keep our communities up and running. They started by looking at two cities in Utah. And we looked at irrigation bills from thousands of customers in these two cities and paired that information with aerial images. Those images looked at the red, blue, green, and infrared. Then they were analyzed. Healthy landscapes are greener and cooler than other things in the images. Pairing that with water bills. We found that watering will increase the landscape health, but only up to a certain point. After that, as you add more water, the, the quality of the landscape does not improve. Bottom line. So there's this optimum point beyond which watering doesn't offer any benefit. So what is that optimum point? That's what everybody is asking. Well, the first thing to check out is DWR's weekly lawn watering guide, which will point you in the right direction. But there's also tech that can help too. Smart irrigation controllers, timers that look ahead at the weather and help us optimize the, the timing of our irrigation. So this summer, science shows that water restrictions won't have to ruin your landscape. Their landscapes will look healthier. They're not going to use as much water. They'll save money on their water bill. Spencer Joseph. It's a win-win-win. Fox 13 News. Water conservation does not have to be a sacrifice. Utah.